I call the member for Lindsay. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Well, today I'm planning to upset both the Prime Minister and the Treasurer, because when they say it comes to war, all's fair in love and war. And this year, I'm sure 2016 is going to be the year of the Panther. Now, last year, I thought it was going to be the year of the Panther, and I was I must admit, I was wrong. I was led down the garden path by Troy Dodds, the editor of the Western Weekender, when we had this theory about the Chinese New Year that we had in line. But unfortunately, I think we failed. But I'm sure this year is going to be Year of the Panther. Go the Panthers. That's right. So the, the, member, the member for Dobell agrees <laughs> it's going to be Year of the Panther. So look, the Prime Minister can support East. He can support the chickens. And the Treasurer can continue with the Sharks, but we're going to make short work with both of those teams. Now, this year is also significant for the Panthers because Penrith Panthers turns 50. Penrith Panthers' journey started many, many years ago. In fact, my grandfather was one of the people who put in one of the original bonds to bring Panthers into being a professional team back in the early 60s. Our team has seen some wonderful, wonderful successes. People like Tim Sheens, Phil Gould, Mark Geyer, Greg Alexander, Brat Fittler, Roy Simmons, John Farragher, Scott Sattler, Daryl Broman, Ryan Girdler and many, many more. 1991, in fact, the 22nd of September 1991 at the Sydney Football Stadium, many people will remember we took down the Canberra Raiders, which was an amazing night, amazing day, actually. 2003 was the last time we cooked the chooks, so I'd just like the Prime Minister to know that we've done it before and we'll do it again. Uh, and of course, poor old Cronulla, well, they came in in 67 and just never won anything. So as a club, we've had our tough times too, but as a true Panther supporter, I think one of the most amazing things about Panthers is what they provide the entire community. Everyone knows Penrith as, as a rugby league town, but the Panthers and the St Mary's Rugby League, what they actually give back to junior sport and junior netball is pretty phenomenal. I'd also like to acknowledge the Penrith Panthers netball team that are joining the Premier Club Cup this year which is an amazing transition for what is the number one participation sport in our country, netball, that we're going to see these wonderful women take the court to see wonderful women like Paige Hadley, who a local junior, then into the States team and then into the Diamonds. So this year is the year of the Panther. Whether you're playing netball, whether you're playing rugby league, it is the year of the Panther. I'd like to wish the entire team the very, very best of luck. I hope Matt Moylan, our new captain, probably not the best way to start, who started the year with an injury, I hope his injury comes good and he gets to his feet and he's out pulling on the black jersey sooner rather than later. I wish all young participants of sport right across the region the very best. And you know what? It doesn't really matter if you win or lose. It's how you play and it's about your sportsmanship. Thank you.